This poem is called Limit Philosophy. At parties, I'm always excusing myself by saying I don't want to talk about Nietzsche. <laughs> In Sils Maria, the glib bells are probably ringing and I don't want to talk about Nietzsche. I hate it when the plane reaches 33,000 feet and the pilot delivers his report on Nietzsche. <laughs> when tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Nietzsche and there's been rising violence in Nietzsche when some ballots got lost and by default we elected Nietzsche. <laughs> or when all the drinks come and mine is the one with too much Nietzsche. <laughs> I can't sleep for noticing my partner's Nietzschean grammar, the willful tilt of his chin the huge O of his body when we climb out of bed into cold air. Here is a fable, I tell myself. There were two friends who lived at the top of a mountain and neither had ever heard of Nietzsche. <laughs> Snore. I take it personally. This thing clawing in your throat has no place in a speaking world. It seesaws on some huge rusted hinge or is wrenched like a tin roof in a house wrecking wind. Outside, the moon persists with its one white vowel, while beside me, the sound drags out half dead and foreign as Latin in the bedroom's air. I stay curled on this island where the sound shreds all maps and flares and flares in black light, dressed in phlegm and howling for a fight. This poem is Buying Satin Dresses at You Garden. I buy them like fruit, my body still on the bike, one foot grounded. This one like a wedge of lime on my lip. Idiot machines clench these colours together in some grainy province, craft raveled down to whatever threads cheapest, raw cord around the waist three cuts, head, arms. This one slides from its hanger, a ripe weight in my hand, <coughs> crazed yellow strung from the machine's tropic mind. The street slings past. A man pushes his fruit cart, calls out, I lay the dress in my basket, hand over blanched banknotes, and though I know this appetite can't be met by a dress, it is so delicious that both my feet are already off the ground. A history of blue. Brain scan blue of the horizon's edge before dawn. That is the blue of indecision. Five blue lights blinking the plane through metal dust sky while the Pacific lilts like aquarium plastic around some humid or hypothermic blue latitude. Look closer. Here's Stradbroke Island in shades of blue ringed octopus, black blue crabs on rocks like moving bruises. Drowsy blue of my teetotal grandfather's tattoo and the blue book of his brain that remembers all birds by their Latin names. Blue guts of swimming pools. Blue tongues scrummed in one shady corner. First, 
and lost. The sky's huge blue hand pressed against the windows. Thank you.